A while back, Joe and I took a trip to Whidbey Island located near Seattle with our friends Jane and Sam. We rented a cabin and harvested our own fresh mussels. Then we took them back and cooked them up. Ever since then, I couldn't get mussels off my brain. But since then, we moved out of the West Coast to Chicago and live mussels are a little bit hard to find. So when I finally found them, you bet I was super excited to whip up some mussels and white wine sauce. And I feel a little guilty, honestly, not posting this sooner because they're so ridiculously easy to make. So if you want something light, fresh, and amazing, then grab your bottle of wine. Let's go into the kitchen. I'll show you how to make it. Surprise, surprise, I'm starting off with three cloves of garlic, but garlic and mussels go hand in hand. So for my mussels and white wine sauce, all you're gonna need is unsalted butter, an onion, garlic, tomatoes, lemon, parsley, white wine, chicken broth, and live mussels. It's important for your mussels to be live. Luckily for me, I found them at Costco. You know those little stands that come that pop up every now and then? So if you're lucky and you live near the water, then you have no excuse not to make these. So I'm just dicing up a small onion. You can also use a shallot, leeks, basically anything in the onion family. It's important to have all of your stuff ready to go because mussels take no time to cook. They literally take about five minutes to make. So I have three tablespoons of unsalted butter divided into three parts. And you wanna use unsalted so you can control the level of salt. In a large wide pot over medium high heat, you're just gonna add one chunk. So that's one tablespoon of unsalted butter. When it starts to sizzle a little, then you can add your garlic and onions. There it goes. Is there a happier sight than melting butter? I think not. I'm gonna add a little salt just to help the onions sweat better. And now you're gonna measure out your liquids, which is wine and reduced sodium chicken broth. So you're just gonna do about half a cup and then about half a cup of reduced sodium chicken broth. And guys, that's almost it. So what you have to do before all of this is make sure your mussels are clean. Give them a good rinse in cold running water. Make sure that it's cold. And then if there's any beards or those little fuzzy things on the sides, just take them off with a knife. And if you see some that are a little bit open, that's not good. So what you have to do is tap it on the hinge lightly. And then when it closes, it's good to go. If it stays open, just chuck it. It's not good and discard any ones with broken shells. This little guy tried to open up on me, but I just tapped it and it closed again. This one too. Yep, it's fresh. Okay, so it's bubbling away, and now you're just gonna gently throw in your mussels. Give it a gentle stir. That clattering is so satisfying, right? Put on the lid, reduce the heat to about medium, and just grab a lemon and three tomatoes. I wish I had. You just need three Roma or plum tomatoes. I'm using Roma. And if you don't have this, then you can just use a regular old tomato. Even cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, just anything. I set my timer to five minutes. You really don't want to overcook your mussels. Since I have time, I'm just gonna make a little space on my board and chop up some parsley. If you want to give this a slightly exotic flair, then you can use chopped cilantro instead. Make sure you give your pan a shake. 
can do this every so often within the five minutes just to make sure that the heat is well distributed and everything cooks evenly. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. The wine and the seafood smell is just really amazing. We'll share one. Don't mind me, I add lemon to pretty much everything. I tend to like lemony stuff, so I'm just putting a whole one or you can use half. Add some salt and pepper. Remember, because the chicken stock was reduced sodium, so you might need a tad more. And the last part, the last two tablespoons of your unsalted butter. Just let that melt and swirl in. And I tend to like the mussels staying in their shells, so I don't like to toss it too crazily at this point. Just give it a gentle stir so that the mussels from the bottom come up to the top and that butter has a chance to melt a little. But at this point, the mussels are all open, so they're fully cooked. The butter is melted, so I'm just going to fish out my mussels and plate it up. I like to just grab tongs and gently pull out the mussels first because I find that it's so dramatic when you pour that hot sauce over it at the end. And also this ensures that most of the mussels will stay inside their shells. Now you can serve this over a bed of pasta. I find it so delicious over some fettuccine noodles. But I'm just gonna serve it up with some crusty bread that I toasted with just a little bit of olive oil. Popped it into a 350 degree oven and just until it's toasted. And then that way, the bread can sop up all of that gorgeous sauce in the end. And this would make an amazing appetizer. But I like to eat it for dinner. And now my fave part of the whole deal. Oh, drink it up, my muscles. Drink it up. Man, if you have guests over and you do this at the table right in front of them, they will swoon. They'll think you are the best, most awesome person ever. I like to throw a couple of parsley leaves on top just for effect. You can also garnish with some lemon wedges or slices. Now you can see why I feel totally guilty about not sharing this super easy recipe with you earlier. The taste. You guys, seriously, I don't know why you wouldn't make this because it's just so sweet, soft, succulent, fresh. Look at that muscle clinging onto a little bit of tomato. And the bread, this is what it's made for. Now let me give you some substitutions. If you didn't happen to have white wine, you could always use beer. You can make it spicy by adding some jalapenos. Really, the world is your oyster, or should I say, your muscle. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Remember to push like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Man takes me back to Whidbey Island. Dip my bread in here. Mm. I love that wine taste.